Hello, welcome back to the Esther Effect. My name is Georgia. This is God's channel. I wanted to share a quick testimony with you that happened tonight. So this whole semester, I have just been feeling just a little bit out of it. The Lord has been doing extreme pruning in my life and I've just felt just a little out of it when it comes to doing outreach at LCU. Um, and so this whole past weekend, I've just had such freedom and the past couple weeks, I've had so much freedom. And I really felt like the Lord was like, Georgia, you're not being yourself. You're not, sh you're not talking about me as much as you did even when before you even came to LCU. So I'd like you to... You know, I just felt him like prompting, like talk to my talk to my my daughter here, talk to my son here, and I was like, oh gosh, I'm sorry. So then today I went. I was actually gonna go to um, Walmart, but um, for some reason I saw this Kroger, and it's a place that I've never gone. I feel like not a lot of students go there, so it's a Kroger farther away from school, and so I went there. Um, and I never went to Kroger and it was like a really small sign and so I like went in and I got what I needed to get. I went and checked out and there were so many people along the way that I was like, oh my gosh, I want to stop. I like see stuff on them, see stuff on them. And I don't know, but I just felt like the Lord was like just really wanting me to just, just talk to everybody. And I was like, Lord, you want me to talk to everybody in here? Like I was getting so much for everyone. Anyways, I didn't talk to everybody. I went and I checked out and then there was this guy that helped me at the register and um, I stopped and I like went up, I, well he helped me, I checked out, I stopped and I was like, hey, you know, what did I, yeah, the first thing I said was like, hey, I just feel like so strong, like your spirit is so amazing, you're just so sweet and you're very approachable. I just like started like speaking life into him and I was like, you know, um, I don't know, you know, his name was Brandon and I was like, my cousin's name is Brandon and he loves to game so much and I felt like that was a word of knowledge and I was like, hey, so do you like like gaming or something? Are you like, like have you loved gaming in your life and have you always wanted to be like a programmer um, for games? And he was like, yeah, actually I have um, in the past, but I found out it, you need a lot of math to be able to do that. So I just really gave up on that a while ago when I found out you needed a lot of math. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I feel like you get so excited about that, like gaming. And um, so the Lord, there's a lot of games that you can create actually that would just completely glorify the Lord in that. So I just feel like if that's something on your heart, the Lord is stirring on your heart. Can I just pray for you? And um, and he was like, yeah. So I prayed for him about that. And then while I was praying, I got a picture of his mom. And I was like, hey, is there something going on with your mom right now? Like I'm seeing a picture of your mom. He was like, actually, yeah, she's really sick. She has lupus. And I was like, hey, the Lord loves your mom. I could just feel the Lord's heart for his mom right then and there. And I was like, hey, the Lord loves your mom so, so much. The Lord wants this lupus out and we are connected to that because that lupus is going to go. So I prayed for him right there. And I was like, lupus and the mom. And I prayed for the mom. And I was like, lupus, get out in Jesus' name. And and then um, I started talking to him a little bit more. And um, just like breathing life into him. And um Oh, I got a picture of the um, of a, a slide on a playground. I was like, "Is like playground like an in, like an amazing memory with you and your mom?" And she's like, "He's like, I haven't been on a like slide at a playground since I was like really little." I was like, "I feel like that's an incredible memory with you and your mom that the Lord is like bringing to life, and He really, really loves that time and the relationship that you have with your mom." And I just blessed him and I just shared how much Jesus loves him. And then I started to walk away. It's like, bless you, man. Love you. I bless you. And then I started to walk away. And the Lord, I just felt the Lord like hit me like, like, like a brick wall. And he was like, you just did all that. You prayed for his mom. His mom's healed. All this stuff. And you didn't even, I'm inviting, this is me inviting him into a relationship. And you didn't even do that. I was like, oh. Oh, I'm sorry, because like this semester, I've really been feeling like last semester, we would get crazy healings, people's legs would grow out, you know, deaf ears would open, all these things. And then all along the time, I didn't really ask people if they wanted to be in a relationship with the Lord. And I'm like, what am I thinking? Like, what's wrong? So I was really feeling this semester, like, I really needed to start doing that more than I ever have. And so, yeah, to be honest, I really never have done it when I was by myself, which is... A little embarrassing but who cares you know like pride and self-righteousness is not a fruit of the spirit thank you Jesus so anyways yeah I just was like I turned around really quick I was like hey Brandon like I know I already talked to you but 
all these things that the Lord was speaking to me, the Lord wants to have this relationship with you. And I feel like he's inviting you into a relationship with him. He wants to speak to you this same way. He wants to talk to you. He wants to, to have a relationship and love on you and just be friends with you and get to know you more and you get to know him. Is that something that you're interested in? He got super awkward, crossed his arms like, like nervous little girl, like crossing at the wrist, like with his arms straight. And he was like, he kind of looked at me and he was like, his eye, face got, got really soft. And he was like, yeah, like, yeah, I do. And I was like, that, and, um, and, and then I kind of got nervous, like, cause I could sense, so I have this gift, like when I pick up on other people, I sense that and then I automatically feel that way when I'm picking up on them. And then because I change atmospheres, everything changes like the whole atmosphere changes the people around me change so anyways i was picking up on his nervousness i should have just been quiet i was in business for how long just be quiet after you ask didn't do that and i got nervous i was like you know if you want to come on friday we could also do that and you can come on friday and we could talk then because i was like i know you're at work and we could just do this right now but he already had said yes and i could have just done it Ooh, lord is teaching me all right jesus so anyways, and then I got nervous and I was like, yeah, like we could just come on Friday if you're gonna talk. But I started talking, wrecked it. But that's okay. Jeez, it's gonna get sorry for all the shaking. But anyways, I asked him and he was like, and I was like, you can come on Friday, this and that, you should talk white, he's got dreads, it's cool, blah blah blah. And then he was like, you know what, I'm gonna have to pass. And he got super nervous and he was picking up on me being nervous because I changed atmosphere and I was picking up on his nervousness, so I just let it happen. Ooh. Jesus, help us all. Anyways, he wanted to pass, and I was like, bless you, brother, and I left. And I was like, that will never happen again. So if you're watching this video, I hope that this helps you, hope this encourages you to not just do what I just did on a Monday night, regular night. Don't do it. Anyways, I hope this really encourages you. Sorry for all the shaking. Thank you very much. Patient. I just wanted to share that with you and that you can just be confident and when after you ask tip for today after you ask if they want to know the Lord just wait and wait it's like sales 101 but it's not sales you just I just learned it when I was in business school right so anyways, you just ask, and then you be quiet, and you wait. Look at that toilet paper. Yes, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Please, okay, if you're in having dreams, side note, if you're having dreams and you're in the bathroom, this is a cleansing dream. I just love dreams. Anyways, I love you. I hope this encourages you, and today was an amazing day at school. I love you. Hope this encourages you. Feel free to like, comment, share with your friends, and subscribe. I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.